Hi everyone. As I was thinking about what I felt that God wanted me to share about slowing down or eliminating hurry from our lives, I started to think about destinations and journeys. I think it's probably fair to say that we've had enough of this pandemic by now. The idea of it continuing to impact our interactions with our loved ones, the economy, our physical and mental health, education, sense of security and more can really get us down. The government and media have been trying to fuel hope that there will be an end to it all. We just need to all get on board with this lockdown and then things will calm down. Christmas will look different this year, but a vaccine's not far off. We can have our freedom again. We can return to normal. It will all be better. It's so easy to join in with that way of thinking as it's what we see and hear a lot of. We can start to think that things will be better when lockdown is over, when the weather's better, when there's a vaccine, when I can see more people, when furlough is over, when I'm well again, when my friend or family member is well again, when... I'm sure you could add to that list with things that have been on your mind. But even before the pandemic, I suspect we may have been living with that way of thinking, that things will be better when. When we find a partner, when we have children, when we get a new job, a new house, more money, a better position of influence. We can make everything about the destination. I've definitely been guilty of that. I found something I'd written in my diary the other day where I'd been talking with God about trusting him and it felt like I was stuck in a maze and I didn't know the way out. He told me to look up, to look at him for the route as he had it all drawn out. And then he posed the question, what if I take you to a dead end? I was a bit surprised by the question and said, in a very accusatory, untrusting and somewhat defiant fashion, well then obviously you don't know the route any better than I do. His gentle response was, what if I want to show you a flower there? The other day I was trying to hurry my two-year-old Anna to the post office to make sure we sent a parcel before it closed. As toddlers do, she was dawdling at everything. The puddles to jump in, an interesting person across the road, a plastic bottle that someone had discarded on the pavement, anything else that grabbed her attention. At one point she said to me, Mummy, look, a flower! Much as I still wanted to hurry her on, I stopped and went back to where she was, and she'd seen a bush in someone's garden that was overhanging the pavement, and on this whole bush there was only one flower. You could barely see any other buds on it, but one yellow flower had managed to make it into full bloom. It was worth noticing, and if it weren't for her, I wouldn't have seen it, as I'd have been so focused on getting to the post office. It's not wrong to want to get to our destination. Our destinations can be places God wants us to get to, but sometimes we can be so focused on the destination set that we forget that we're on a journey and that God wants to meet with us on the way. I sat down to ask God what he wanted to say to everyone. My destination for the moment was complete the daily encouragement. God said, spend time with me. I'll show you what to share, but right now I just want you. There are blessings God wants to bestow on us along our journeys. Things he wants to teach or show us ways he wants to connect with us in the uncertainty and discomfort or agony and despair. There can be rest and peace in the storms that leave us wishing for the end of them. I pray that you would know that you were loved today, that you would know the security that God provides, the purpose and destiny he has for you and your community and the hope that you can find in him in the journey that he wants to take you on. Be blessed.